good day YouTube I'll do back for another video I'm gonna go ahead and continue this video in the same theme um, that I did last week but this one's actually gonna be a nature video I'm gonna answer the question and I'm going to do it while walking in this beautiful very very interesting uh, outdoor type of situation here that's in my local area and I'll go ahead and answer the question however if you want to see the full length video because this trail is like almost eight miles long so I don't I won't bore you guys with that but if you want to see the whole thing go ahead and jump over to my personal channel I'm gonna post the entire trail walk there uh, but this particular question uh, basically centers around how do we feel about uh, paganism in theater music art poetry um, <laughs> please forgive that interruption um, paganism art uh, poetry. It also asks, what is our favorite type of expression in art? Um, and you know that I'm a big fan of politics. If you've seen anything on my personal channel, you'll know that I love uh, how countries trade, how they disagree, and I like to talk about those, those particular things, it's especially now with uh, the current president here in the U.S. A lot of people are getting into politics, a lot of people letting their thoughts being known. Um, midterms are coming up, so if you guys haven't voted or haven't registered to vote, it might be a bit too late. But if you are already registered, definitely vote. Let your word, let your thoughts be heard. But to answer the question, um, when it comes to paganism, there are many different uh, branches. So there are some people who are who are big fans of Harry Potter. Some people don't like Harry Potter because it brings up um, the fantasy part of it. Um, if you guys know, I'm a big fan of fantasy and things of nature. I love talking about it. Welcome to Brookside Sanders. Oh, yes. Okay, so now we're on the Brookside garden side, so definitely have a look around. Uh, spin the camera around, have a look. Uh, there's some beautiful things off to the right. Botanical gardens, maybe I'll pop in there at some point for uh, the, the portion that will be on my personal channel. Uh, it's beautiful out here. Good, good weather to do a walk as you all can see here amazing stuff um, but yeah you know I love fantasy I talk about the occult undertones and Naruto and other anime I talk about the magical seals and things that you'll see in these in this uh, in this thing that most people feel like it's fantasy but I feel like it's rooted it's grounded in real magical practice so I bring up Harry Potter uh, I also want to talk about American Horror Story because American Horror Story seems to have lots of occult uh, underpinnings. Some of the rituals use Latin. Um, a lot of the deities are real. Uh, Papa Legba was talked about in, in, in last year's, I'm sorry, in the original Covens. Now they brought Coven back. So if you guys are watching that now, there's a lot of hot button topics in there. They even talked about Satanism as uh, in there and that is under the umbrella of paganism so, uh, some people may not um, like the fact that that's the case but they are pagans as well it's just that they have different set of rules and they look at things a different way so if I were to pick my favorite form I would say it would have to be movies and TV shows the reason why is because I feel like it opens gateways for people it allows people to express themselves it allows people to choose their path because they see these characters that may look or sound just like just like they do. So I would always say TV shows, movies, um, cartoons, anime especially. Uh, you never know that one character may speak to you and you'll be on a path toward your own particular branch of paganism, whatever feels right for you. Um, I would definitely say American Horror Story Coven uh, the original one and the current one now is really good because they bring certain levels of fantasy to the forefront, but they also bring uh, real rituals, occult themes, and they wrap it in drama. So it's very, very entertaining. But on the back end, it kind of gives you the feeling that this could be real, and which it is in most cases. Some of the underpinnings, actual structure is real. So I would say. TV, film, um, and anime cartoons. Those are my favorites. And I have stated why I think it does bring it. I think it brings you to 
what's real. Um, as far as poetry, it just depends because some people aren't really that connected with it, so I won't pick that one as one of my favorites. Some people feel like it's hard to decode the under meanings and things. It looks like we're coming to a split. <laughs> looks like we're coming to a split. Getting some beautiful stuff here. Bright sunlight. But if you want to see the rest of the video, uh, definitely join me on my personal channel. Um, and I will see if I can get the whole thing up only for you. This is a pretty long walk and we've just scratched the surface on what's here. Uh, you, before long, you guys will probably get tired of this area because I'll be running back and forth on this quite a bit in this area. But thanks for watching. Hope that answers the question. And I will see you guys on my personal channel if you want to. Hop on over and blessed be.